Hi guys, today I'm gonna run over a session that I have the other day where I test back to back the same day in almost the same condition uh, to, to powering my Gong Foro Plus as you can see here and at the same time the Ozone Pocket Rocket 3.6 and uh, I want to try to do this comparison as fair as possible and uh, run with you uh, through some videos and some data that we are not speaking about only feelings but we are also speaking about about data that it's always very useful so the wind was about 13 knots uh, you can see here 24 kilometers per hour as it say the direction is, is completely wrong the wind is blowing from southwest like this direction maybe a little bit more south southwest it's correct as we can see later in the in the pocket rocket uh, section uh, the main difference is that with the gong foro plus i was pretty fully powered and i was using an harness thing that i didn't use with the hoson pocket rocket i put some lines some average lines and some annotation so we can we can see our angles that there are all around 53 50 degrees 51 51 58 the best stretch 54 and this as we can see i put in some notes it's averaging 52.9 degrees of upwind angle we should uh, try to understand that in a normal sailing boat this angle is around 90 degrees so this is not very good upwind angle we can also try uh, to check uh, upwind speeds let's try to see how it average so here we go until 70 minutes is all upwind and is averaging yeah we can see here is the same spot that we see before when the wind kind of gets stronger and it's averaging something around 13 12 to 13 knots of upwind speed that it's, it's it's not that bad so now let's go to the to the same numbers with the with the ozone pocket rocket uh, the 3.c so wind was almost the same now the direction it's okay it's 24 kilometers per hour is 13 knots okay and we can see here at first sight there's not a lot of difference but if we run in the upwind angles with the CAD as we can see here here the the screen grab it already looks that are slightly lower almost the same but slightly lower with the best of 55 degrees and uh, and towards this 48 degrees it's average 50.4 degrees so two and a half degrees less than the than Gong Plus. Again, I should say that I was without the harness. So let's check now speeds. So let's start from 415 to somehow 7.2 kilometers. Let's check yeah, from here till 7. Point something kilometers. Where we start the downwind and we can see average are pretty similar I would say slightly lower slightly closer to 12 knots and we were slightly uh, closer to 13 knots with the gong so yeah with uh, with this data we can have a pretty good comparison as we can write it now we can say average speed upwind is something around 13 and average speed upwind it was something more around 12 okay as soon as we have the uh, average upwind angles calculated uh, this is not really upwind angle is the angles in between the two legs but we can extrapolate that something close to upwind angle again in a sailboat in a normal sailboat these numbers are 
very close to 90 degrees, so these are not really good uh, average upwind angles. And uh, using the, the average speed calculated for the upwind leg, we can now calculate the, the VMG, that is the speed uh, at which we travel in the direction of the wind. Okay, as we can see here, uh, the VMG for the Gong Plus is 5.8 knots, and for the Hoson Pocket Truck at 3.6 is 5.1 knots. Uh, this means that in, in, in one hour we cover a distance uh, over ground of approximately 0.7 miles. So in one hour we cover with the Gong Plus 1.3 km more than with the Ozon Pocket Truck. And this is quite surprising because when I'm sailing it, I feel that the Ozone Pocket Rocket it's, it's a lot more controllable, it's a lot more stable in the wind, but numbers saying something different. And again, this is pretty surprising. So let's try uh, to explain VMG upwind angles again with a little bit of drawings, that it's gonna be easy. So here are the two simulation of uh, one hour run at the average uh, VMG that we said before. In yellow we have uh, the Gong Plus 4.0 and in green we have uh, the Hoson Pocket Rocket 3.6 and it's uh, pretty astonishing that in a uh, one hour run we can average one point, almost 1.3 kilometers more uh, on the wind direction uh, with, the, with the Gong Plus 4.0 So, after testing the Ozone Pocket Rocket 3.6 and the Gong Plus V1 4.0 back to back in the same conditions, here's what I've found. Both wings will get you flying in 12 to 15 knots with a downwind board, but the Ozone really stands out for stability and comfort. Even without an harness, my shoulder felt fine and it was easier to handle and to the power. The Gong, on the other hand, pulls much harder, almost forcing you to use an harness but that extra low-end power makes it quicker to get going. When it comes to construction, the Ozone is in another league, lighter, stiffer and overall higher quality. The only downside is the bridle and the boom horns, which tends to tangle and make redeployment trickier. But that's a topic for another video. Looking at GPS data, the Gong does show slightly better upwind numbers. The difference isn't huge, but it's consistent. So, in the end, if you are focused poorly on upwind performance, the gun can match or even beat the Hoson at half the price. Like and subscribe for more powering analysis and future comparisons.